in the first regulations, we only we had an annexure that had only Thomas and Erongo. Now we have uh, divided the country into ten zones, and, and that's another important aspect that has been um, included in, in these regulations. Something else: there's some as we're going along, uh, you know, there were some uh, concerns that members of the public raised. What we've also done now uh, is we, for example, opened up and relaxed some of the stringent conditions under which the Namibians were operating. So, for example. And I think for, for us an important uh, amendment is the fact that we opened up the, the space for informal trading and, and open markets. And I think that's, that's an important uh, change for us. So what we've done is we've listed what are essential goods, uh, which includes food, staffs, and so forth. You would have seen that in our annexure. And so informal traders that fit, uh, that provide that service, um, that supplies critical um, services or essential goods that relate to COVID-19 health and so forth, they would otherwise then be considered um, as, as critical service providers. And as such be allowed to continue. Yes, I mean, yes. the idea is that yeah. we open up that space and, you know, so that you, you are able to now buy your tomatoes at the, at the guy that sits at the corner in, in, the, in the location. For example, whether you live in, a, in Mabashu or you live in, in, in whatever area you're living in, you don't have to now walk all the way to ShopRite or to Vuerman Brock. Um, to, to purchase your onions and your tomatoes. So in that sense, that gentleman at the corner of that street then becomes a critical service provider. Very good. And he provides essential goods. Thank you very much.